spend their early life in rivers and then swim out to sea to live their adult lives. But when they reach maturity, most will return to spawn in the same river and sometimes even the same gravel beds where they were born. How do they find their way back? After spending up to seven years in the ocean, Pacific salmon will swim thousands of miles to return to their natal river, fighting the current, avoiding predators, and leaping over obstacles to reach their spawning grounds. It's a harrowing journey, leaving them with torn fins and covered with patches of white, bruised flesh, but most manage to navigate the route with uncanny precision. There's a few theories on how they manage to find their way back, but the most prominent theory is that they use a combination of magnetoception and smell to reach their goal. In 1988, researchers found a small amount of iron in the skulls of sockeye salmon, enough to allow them to use the Earth's magnetic field to navigate. It's thought that, while in the ocean, they may use magnetoception to navigate to the general position of their natal river. And once they've located the river estuary, they use their sense of smell to find the river entrance. From there, the drive to reach upstream takes over, and they continue to follow chemical clues and odors to their spawning grounds, sometimes hundreds of miles from the sea. <laughs>